Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. So, I'm actually in a good mood today, okay? You guys already saw the title, so you know what we're gonna be talking about pregnancy, babies, and so forth, okay? So, last week I went out, I mean, I go out every day, but I was asked the question three times, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the question, but in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe already, because if you're watching, then you know, why are you not subscribe? Why? Anyway, guys, let's get started with today's conversation. Point number one that I wanted to address here, and I think many people know this. It's just that sometimes it just you know you can you can hold it. Um, the first thing is if you see a woman whether she's looking a certain way whether she's gaining weight her tummy is, is sticking out she, she may be bloated or she may just be a little bit you know overweight um so please 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 don't ask women are you pregnant are you expecting all of these things this is not this is not a good look it's not a good look um women's body change okay we change today i look like this tomorrow i may look smaller a little bit smaller not that much <laughs> and then next week you may see me and feel like damn do you have twins in your tummy because i bloat i bloat all the time many people bloat last week i was asked three times when do you want to get pregnant how many children do you want to have so that's the question that i want to talk about because as much as you know people feel like you are that age where you're supposed to be thinking about kids and blah 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 here's the thing the same way i would tell you don't ask a woman if she's pregnant don't ask a woman when she's gonna be pregnant oh please please, please. i don't even know how to say that i'm saying it with a, with a smile because i've gotten to the point where it's funny to me okay don't ask a woman when she's gonna get pregnant bottom line because you don't know what she's going through um, you don't know if she has somebody or maybe she's married or maybe she's single but she's trying and she cannot many of my girlfriends some of my relatives and other people acquaintances i know those women they want to have children whether they have a man or not they do want to have children um the thing is that some of them can't some of them have um, hormonal issues some of them have endometriosis some of them um have fibroids a lot of black women actually for some reason have fibroids and i was diagnosed with fibroids but i haven't really i mean last time i talked to a gynecologist he basically told me that, that i'm not at the phase where i'm supposed to be worried because i mean he, he couldn't really i mean it wasn't of a concern yet okay but um of course i'm gonna at some point i will have to put that as a priority and actually monitor it so that it doesn't grow bigger or whatever or if i have to have surgery all of these things so all i'm trying to say is that we got issues <laughs> and i feel like nowadays for some reason women have more hormonal issues than before like i've talked to my mom i've talked to some of my um friends moms and also grandmothers and all of them are like they didn't have those type of issues when they were growing up or maybe some of them had it but it wasn't it wasn't that prevalent it wasn't everywhere it wasn't everyone um i have a friend who she's engaged and she's about to be married this year and she basically sat down with her fiance before they even got to the point where they were engaged she sat down with him because she knew he had an intention to propose to her she basically told him hey this is my situation i have endometriosis i have abcg i think she has endometriosis and something else added to that first of all if you do have endometriosis that's already bad enough and it's not curable you do have to just monitor it take pain medications and everything i mean it's bad i found out about endometriosis 2017 because that's something that we don't talk about that's something that nobody talks about and if it wasn't close to home if it didn't hit close to home um i wouldn't have known that it's actually something that women suffer from and at some point when i was having my ibs issues and everything i was concerned that maybe that's what i had and i did all type of testing guys and my doctor my pcp um primary care physician she, she kept on saying jenny you don't have endometriosis those are not the symptoms <laughs> and i was googling everything so let's go back to the conversation with my girlfriend so she basically sat her fiance down and they had a full-blown conversation and she told him that um i know your parents because you're african your parents are going to be asking you know when are you going to have babies when geez and even you as a man 
you sh i mean you do want to have children and i'm just telling you right then and there it may not be possible for me to have children so that's the conversation that she had with him and she really gave him the time to think about it because she said you know what we don't have to get married you can go and have kids somewhere else if you feel like i may not be the wife for you whatever and after like a year long i mean an additional year of relationship the guy was like you know what let's just get married i've had it you're the one for me blah 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 but it actually took him a moment for him to just think huh what if i don't have children am i gonna be okay with that so that's the conversation that people should be having with a partner first of all um if you have some type of hormonal issues imbalances or you know fibroids and matures like women i know many of us go into relationship and we had those information that's not good okay i would advise all women to actually uh, like disclose them because then um you're not tricking somebody into marrying you or into believing that he can have children first of all so going back to the question of when are you gonna have children guys like whether it's men or women because um but here's the answer that i'm gonna give you and this is gonna be my best answer I don't know <laughs> i don't know and i think many women in my position who don't who are not in a relationship or they're not really seeking to have a baby today right now we don't know even the women who are currently you know like working towards having a baby they don't know like we can't just kick it you know like how do they say that um next fix and chill and then bam we put in doesn't happen like that you know there are a few days in the month that you can hit it right <laughs> i just want to be sure so to all the people asking women in their 30s when are you done i mean women who don't have children yet when are you going to have children we don't know if there's so many factors that goes into play when you ask that question there are so many things that women who are trying every day you know getting i mean they're married fully married for years trying and how are you gonna ask them that question like when are you gonna have children this is i feel like it's so uncalled for and it's so inappropriate because there's no way we can control our body right like as much as the biological clock is ticking we still don't know so before i head out okay i just wanted to answer that question the best answer that if you guys are in your 20s or 30s and 40s and people are asking you when are you gonna have children you don't have to make up an answer you can just say i don't know and another answer that also i mean an additional answer to that answer is whenever god allows it or whenever it happens it will happen and i will let you know i'll let you know you'll be the first person <laughs> i'm just being sarcastic you'll be the first person that i will call and i know i'll come on i won't call you another question that i also usually get is when are you gonna get married guys when do you want to know just wait you're sitting there right watching just keep on watching we don't know <laughs> we don't know and i'm talking on behalf of all the women that have been asked this question when are you gonna get married whether you're in your 30s 20s 40s 50s um i'm talking on behalf of all these women that have been you know like single forever and people keep on asking them don't you have a man when are you gonna get married or maybe the women in a relationship and people are asking them when are you gonna get married we don't know like this is a ring do you want me to propose to myself is it is it like are you gonna stop asking I... anyway so that's how i feel about that question okay and i know usually people say it because they they feel like they're so concerned with you know like they care about you you have a certain age blah 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 you know my cousin got married my little sister got married blah 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 and look at you you know you're a little bit you know above that age where people we don't care first of all we don't care <laughs> some of us don't care okay and the rest of us don't just know <laughs> we don't know so as much as you care about the person you're asking that question or maybe you don't just don't ask the question you know and the, you know what's annoying is when that question is followed up with another question so let's say i'm a single woman and somebody asks me when are you gonna get married and i say i don't know oh no that's a, that's not enough good answer for them okay they're gonna ask you a follow-up question which is but do you have a man 
And you will say no. Oh, but why can't you find a man? Are you picky? Like, what are some of the requirements? Maybe you have really like strict criteria. Maybe, oh, I've had, oh, so, oh gosh, I can't even talk about this. It's gonna be taking forever. The way people just judge you by the fact that, I don't know, just the fact that you're a woman of a certain class and you're an entrepreneur and you're a CEO and you have your own coins. People, I mean, how can you be single? And then you look like something, you know. People just assume that the problem is you. It can be them. The problem is you. Can I just can I just live my life? <laughs> can I just live my life without thinking about that? Can I just can I just be? Like, I feel like there are so many women like me who just wanna be. We just wanna enjoy every season we in, everything we do. Like we don't want to answer questions that we cannot answer. Like I can't control the man that I will be dating, that I am dating. I can't even control the husband that I have. Let's say I'm married. How can you control that you're going to be staying married forever? You can't, you know? Like I find that really annoying. And I know many people say they care, whatever. There are so many other issues, so many problems in this world. Take care of them or pick one, pick one cause, you know, and take care of it. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm good. <sighs> and then the follow-up question when you are in a relationship is oh so you don't know when you're gonna get married wow but have you had the conversation with him did you guys talk about it what does he think why don't you want to get married now why doesn't he want to get married now <sighs> can we just stay out of people's business like there's this song that says uh, drink your water and mind your business I can't put that song here because people, I mean, it's going to be copyrighted, but really drink some water and mind your business. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I don't have answers. And I feel like saying, I don't know, is good enough answer. You don't have to add anything to that. We don't know. The woman who is trying to get children and you're asking her, when are you going to have children? She doesn't know. And the funny thing is that some of us don't even want to have children. Some of us don't even want to get married. Have you, have you, have you thought of it? <laughs> I feel like people think because you're a woman and you have this biological clock, you're supposed to be concerned. I know many women who don't care. I know women in their 50s who didn't have children, you know, and they don't regret it. Oprah doesn't regret it. <laughs> Guys, let people live their life, okay? Let them breathe. Whether they have want to have children, not want to have children. Um, some women actually want to have children, but they don't want to do anything with the men. They just want to get the sperm. And that's it. <laughs> and people are still gonna have questions about that what type of woman are you you know we live in interesting times that's all i can say so i'm gonna go because i've talked a lot it was gonna be a short video but i keep on talking so guys don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you think about this topic when are you gonna have children when are you gonna get married <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding guys but anyway as usual give it a thumbs up subscribe first of all if you're not subscribed like why why anyway Whew, so hot. Bye.